So I should say hey Anna, right? <laughs> Maybe we can cut. Hi Anna, my question for you is what is your favorite lunch break spot during Paris Fashion Week and what do you order? Gigi, who has time for lunch? Hi Anna, um, I was wondering um, why did you like so much playing tennis? And uh, what does it bring in your daily life? Marine, uh, because professional tennis players like yourself make it look so easy, amateurs like me step onto the court full of hope and expectation that we can uh, serve like Serena or return like Roger, and of course that never happens. But I live in perpetual hope, and of course I'd love to play tennis with you anytime. Hey Anna, if you had to give a letter grade to the American, European, and Asian fashion industries on their progress as it pertains to diversity in the past five years. What grade would each one receive and why? Kirby, there's no question in my mind that America is leading the way in terms of representation on the runway, and I think we have yourself to thank, and Virgil and Telfar, and many other designers that work uh, both in New York and LA. But the influence is also being felt in Europe, Look at the recent shows of Pier Paolo at Valentino or Ricardo at Burberry and, and more recently I felt that Sylvia Fendi also had wonderful representation on the runway. So there's no question that diversity is on everybody's mind within the fashion industry and way beyond. Hi Anna, it's Kate. If you could have dinner with anyone past or present, who would it be? Kate. At a time when America seems politically incredibly divided, I think it would be very interesting and very helpful to have dinner with two men who stood for unity and common ground and belief in bringing people together. And the two people I would choose would be Nelson Mandela and Dr. King. Hi, Anna. If I were an intern, what would you make me do? Alessandro, there is absolutely no question in my mind. I would happily step down and let you run Vogue. Hi, Anna. This season I was inspired by the Irish playwright Sims' work, Riders to the Sea. And I wanted to know what play have you found very inspiring? Simone, I was lucky enough to find one night during British Fashion Week to go to the theatre and I chose to see Tom Stoppard's Leopold start and it's an absolutely epic night at the theatre. Every single person in the audience was sobbing at some point because it really touches on so many haunting subjects such as the Holocaust and the camps and losing and finding your family. Hey Anna, what is the last thing that made you laugh out loud? So the first thing that made me laugh out loud was Josh O'Connor's wonderful performance as Mr. Elton in Autumn to Wilde's Emma. And the second thing was James Corden and Justin Bieber dancing off against very, very talented toddlers. Hey Anna, I hope you're well. If you're president for the day, what would you do? Sadly, because I was born in England, I can never be president. Hi Anna, what keeps you up at night? Well, obviously this is a moment of great transformation and challenges for the fashion industry and indeed the world at large. So in that respect, there are opportunities. I think it's a moment for creativity and resetting and thinking about how we all go about our jobs in a completely different way. But I also think it's our responsibility at Condé Nast and specifically at Vogue to think how we can support each other, how we can support all the young talent that we work so closely with, how we can be good partners uh, with all the different companies that we work so closely with, how we can reach and discuss with our audiences how they're feeling to build our community, uh, to be even more impactful and aligned with the way that things are, are going. So I, I think we need to be a leader we need to be a friend, and we need to be constantly ready to change. Hey Anna, what qualities would you say are important for someone who dreams about working for you at Vogue? I always ask the person that I'm interviewing what they're interested in, and because it's quite known that I like tennis, and I like the theater, 
they nearly always tell me they're very interested in tennis and they're very interested in the theatre and then I will do a follow-up question and ask them what plays they've seen recently. And you would be amazed how often there is a long silence. So that's a pretty easy test. Of course, original thinking, talent, creativity, someone that challenges my way of thinking is obviously also very important. But in the end, it's about finding someone that you find inspiring. Hi, Anna. The Fashion Weeks Marathon is coming to its finale. Are there any new names that caught your attention? And are there any established designers that really surprised you this time? Well, let's start with the American designers. And first and foremost, I want to applaud Tom Ford for showing in Los Angeles because I totally reject the idea that everybody always has to do the same thing and show in the same way. We're an industry that's meant to be about change, so why don't we change more often? So taking his super glamorous show with his super glamorous audience to Los Angeles I thought was genius and the show was exciting and vibrant and every woman there wanted every dress on the runway. And I love Mark's closing show at the Armory. He surprised us all by having a sort of cabaret set up. The whole space was filled with an army of Carol Armitage dancers and models sort of mixing in with each other. You weren't sure who was a dancer and who was a model. And it was just a very joyful and intimate and exhilarating experience. In London, I really loved Jonathan Anderson's show for his own label. He threw out a lot of the layers and it was surprisingly wearable, but not in any way boring or mundane. So. I think he's consistently leading the way in terms of British talent. In Milan, we all loved Francesco's collection at Mani because of his belief in sustainability, his extraordinary mix of fabrics, and the real joy of the collection. I, I thought that it's maybe his most confident and most successful collection to date. There were so many extraordinary shows in Paris, but Nicolas Gesquier's choice to have 150 plus brilliant singers dressed by the equally brilliant Milena Cananero behind a very modern collection, a mix of romance meets scuba, to me was a great finale for a wonderful Paris season. Hi Anna, could the exciting collaboration between Nucci and Prada and Raph Simon signal a new era for the fashion industry as a whole? I think the collaboration between Raph and Mucci is brilliant and really is gonna help redefine what fashion can mean and fashion can be. It's following an uncharted territory. It's challenging all the corporate sensibilities of either you have to find a designer who follows respectfully in the footsteps of a designer who has gone before, or alternatively one that's gonna come in and throw everything out. This is the idea of community and conversation and respect for each other and respect for the amazing work that they have both done. And I think we all should be humbled by their decision as well as being unbelievably excited to be in Milan in September. Tell me, Anna, who is your favorite American designer? 